What's going on guys? I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law and I don't normally do this. I don't normally drop a video right after a game. Alright, but I felt like I absolutely needed to drop a video after the game where the Indianapolis Colts obliterated the Pittsburgh Steelers 30 to nothing. Uh, 30 to 13. Okay. And the reason why I needed to drop this video is the simple fact that Right about the end of the first quarter, the Colts found themselves in a hole 13 nothing, 13 to nothing. And quite frankly, it wasn't the offense or the defense's fault. They were down so much right out the gate. Okay, The offense was kind of moving the football perfectly okay. They didn't score. They missed a, missed a field goal, right? It was all special teams issues. Now, that first drive that the Pittsburgh Steelers scored, okay, there was some missed tackles there. They allow the touchdown. That happens. But when you miss two field goals in a game, or no, two extra, no, an extra point and two field goals, or something like that, right? I mean, the Colts missed points. And then on top of that, the special teams had a blocked punt, all right, which got down at the one yard line. Defense is stuck at the one yard line. I was amazed. I thought they were going to stop them. The nose of the football literally crossed the line, right? Is the reason why they scored, barely. On fourth down at that, okay? At that point, I'm seeing chat like crazy. Seeing chat dropped. Where they're like, oh, here we go again. We're going to get blown out by the Steelers. It's the Steelers. We never can beat the Steelers. The Colts... Came back looking just like they did against uh, the Bengals. And all this. And I'm looking at this game. I'm going, no. I'm seeing some major screw-ups by special teams. And a couple missed tackles. But the Colts were getting pressure. They were stopping the run. Offensively, they were able to move the football. They just hadn't punched it in yet and put points on the board. But people want to overreact. It's the first quarter of a game. This is not your Chuck Pagano or Frank Reich team. All right? This is a team, literally, defensively and offensively, adjust how they play. They adjust their play in order to go with the flow of the game and change things up. And they did so. They did so in dramatic fashion. Sure, they were down 13 nothing, But as you see right there, they went on a 30 nothing scoring run. 30 to nothing. They ended up, defense had four sacks. Defense had three turnovers. Defense wasn't giving up jackers. They barely gave up a total of 200 yards. I think it was like 214 yards offense to the Pittsburgh Steelers. It was so bad that they benched Mitch Trubisky in the fourth. And then when the next guy come in, he was so bad, I wouldn't be surprised that he would have got benched if the game continued on, right? They might have put Pickens in there at quarterback because the Colts defense was making both these guys look like scrubs that shouldn't even be playing peewee football. Everybody wants to down on Gus Bradley. Look, I'm a guy that has been on record multiple times and said Gus Bradley should blitz a little bit more, right? Gus Bradley should blitz. He's the least blitzing guy in the NFL. Well, we got three games left, and the Colts currently have tied the Indianapolis record. Not the Colts record, but the Indianapolis Colts record for most sacks in a season at 46. Okay? Yet they blitz the least amount, which means this defensive line is studly. It's very, very good. Grover Stewart back. They did a great job against the run, stopping the run. They ran the ball well. But look, yes, getting off track. I get it. We don't blitz enough. I'm still on that track. We don't blitz enough. We blitz so little 
that when we do, we surprise the holy crap out of offenses, and we are the, the we have the highest blitz success rate in the league. The highest blitz success rate in the NFL. What does that mean? That means either we get in a sack, we get an incomplete pass, we're getting something of a negative play. All right. On blitzes. And yes, I think we could blitz a little bit more. We don't need to blitz only 14%. Okay. Wouldn't mind 20%. We got up to 20%. That's like three or four more blitzes. Two to three more blitzes in a game, maybe, you know, but that would create more negative plays. And it's still so, we still be so little blitzing that it still surprised the team when it happens. So I think Gus could probably ramp it up a little bit. And then you hear, oh, soft zone defense, soft zone defense. You get pressure with your front four, it makes it tough for teams to pass. Period. It's how you create those negative plays by getting pressure, hitting the quarterback. Don't lose faith in your team just because you're down two scores in the first quarter. There's three quarters of a football game left. This is a Shane Steichen-led offense, right? Shane Steichen, look, think about this. We were down 13 to nothing. We lose our running back. We lose our number one wide receiver. And then we go score the way we went. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. And yes, I get it. Pittsburgh offense ain't that good. Pittsburgh defense pretty damn good. Okay? Pittsburgh defense pretty good. They've been winning games this year off their running game and their defense. And guess what? The Colts did not turn the football over and they ran over 170 yards on Pittsburgh. And Gardner Minshew... 200 and some yards, three touchdowns, no turnovers. Looked like he did okay. I think he's got those what-the-heck moments out of his system earlier this year, right? Because he's playing very good football, doesn't turn the ball over very much. Very proud of what I've seen from Gardner Minshew. Let's not be so negative when it comes to this Indianapolis Colts team. One bad thing happens, big deal. Two bad things happen, big deal. Let's go and see what happens throughout the rest of the game before we have a conniption fit over our favorite football team. I get it. You know, it sucks. But how many of you at the end of the first quarter was like, this game's over? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with me. How many of you felt that way? I didn't. Go, 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 look, at my, go look at my live game reaction. I held faith. I held faith, and it was paid off. Good on the Colts. They're eight and six, ladies and gentlemen. This Indianapolis Colts team is eight and six. What? What? In the thick of the playoff race. What? Appreciate each and every one of you. Please smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, and tag that notification bell so that you are notified next time I go live or upload a video. Donald and I will get our post-game review out as soon as possible. And uh, until next time, as usual, I'm Lawrence Owen, and this is Colts Law, and I want you to have a good one.